um, I went ahead and had the same settings, uh, smooth it twice, uh, but there's also something I want to bring your attention to um, under the nucleus of our polygon plane, which is now our uh, bed sheet, uh, you can change things like the uh, sub-steps. So the, uh, steps, the sub-steps, um, you can change it anywhere from 10 to 15. Um, our max collision um, can be any, it, right now it's at a default of four. Um, but since it's a, a very um, simple cloth, uh, we don't have to change it to anything like 40. So I'm going to go ahead and change the uh, sub steps from value 3 to value 10. And I'll change the max iterations to a value of 20. And what we're going to notice is that um, uh, animation will be uh, much slower. Okay, uh, But at every frame, Maya is, is calculating um, a sub-step frame and what that allows us to do is um, it creates a higher quality. Okay, Now there's some in, inner uh, penetration of the cloth that I can see down here. Okay, and What we'll do is we'll um, increase the, the subsets. Alright, so I'll go ahead and stop that simulation. And then I'll go ahead and go back and I'll change the substeps to a value of let's go to 15 and then the max collision iteration I'll change it to a value of 40 and I'll go back and press play. Alright. Let's see what we get now. Now there's one more step that I would do uh, before I was happy with the overall quality of bed and that would be to triangulate it so we can get a higher level of detail in this uh, particular mesh. All right. and that's it's not looking too bad. All right. And probably want to add a little bit of thickness to this particular object after it gets finished with the simulation. All right. So I'm going to stop this. You don't want to keep pressing the stop button, otherwise it will stop and start. You want to allow Maya to uh, go through that process. All right. So let's go back. I'm going to save this. Um, in our hypergraph, Again, I'm looking for the, the the shape that is grayed out, right? It's a hidden mesh, and I'm going to go into the modeling drop-down menu, and hopefully my machine won't crash again. Um, if it does, then we'll just skip this particular step. So I'll go to mesh, and then triangulate. All right. So give it a second. Doesn't like that. Close this. I'll open that again. Instead of triangulating, I'll try to smooth it out one more time so I can get a higher level of detail in that particular mesh. Alright, so let's change my viewport from uh, this standard to classic. Alright, and close this object. Now let's go ahead and click on that, that geometry. And I'm going to smooth it out one more time. So, again, I'm not selecting the geometry itself. Uh, I actually have to select the geometry before the smooth. So let's go back into our windows, general editors. Hypershape, I'm sorry, the hypergraph hierarchy, and I'll click on the inputs, and it's that little object right there, the grayed out piece of geometry. It's, uh, it's down. Click on mesh smooth, 
So I'm actually smoothing it out three times in this particular tutorial. And let's grab that little bar. Drag it down. And let's take a look at this simulation. Okay, so now you can see there's higher level of detail in this particular um, simulation. And let's press play. Let's see what happens. Of course, it's going to be really laggy because of the number of details, but at the end of the simulation, it's going to look really nice. So, give it a few. And when it stops with the uh, simulation, we're wanting to actually delete the um, the original mesh and keep um, the mesh with, and we're also going to give it uh, thickness, which is also going to increase the number of polygons. But you don't have to extrude this. Um, I've seen it extruded uh, before in, in different examples, but I actually like it. Um, the floor you can see is that the cloth is going to deploy because the floor in my scene is uh, a little bit higher than than I want it to be, so what I'm going to do is just allow this cloth simulation to finish and then uh, we'll come back. So um, let's go ahead and stop this animation and give it a second. Nine thirty. We have a meeting with Kaiser. Got it. All right. So I'm pretty happy with that. And we'll go ahead and press stop. Okay. So. So press escape a few times, let it stop, and yeah. so I'm happy with that, and you're probably going to get some different uh, results in your cloth simulation. Let me just go ahead and bring that floor down. That's exactly what I was saying. Um, so as you can see, the, the floor is much lower than what it should be. Um, if I don't want the cloth to be hanging that low, I can change a few things in the simulation. Um, I just click on that cloth and go to the, um, let's see here, I'll click on the collision maps, let's see dynamic properties. We could change the stretch resistance to something like, uh, let's try 150. And I'll change the. So we change that to value of 200. And I'll go ahead and stop this and come back and show you the results. All right, guys. So after that uh, fatal crash, um, what I did is I uh, went into the Windows General Editors Hypergraph Hierarchy um, and. I'm actually listening to the Kubo soundtrack, so I'm going to turn that volume down. Very good movie. Very good movie. Um, anyways, uh, let's go ahead and click on this input and output connections. And I'm going to make this a little bit larger. I'll press A in here. Um, the item that is gray is the item that we want to select. Okay. Uh, so you can see that I smoothed it once, twice. Um, so I smoothed it three times, okay? And I'm gonna select it one more time and go into uh, mesh, uh, triangulate. Now, if your machine can handle it, then by all means do it. It'll add a higher level of detail. Um, but to avoid having this computer crash again, I'm not gonna do that. Okay, so with that polyplane selected, um, 
let me see. You can. Uh, we want to change the stretch resistance to value of 350 and the compression uh, resistance. What the uh, compression resistance does is it prevents it from becoming very uh, springy. Okay, and with that, I'm going to close this. So again, you can find the uh, compression resistance and the stretch resistance by clicking on the actual um, geometry and going into your end cloth shape. Okay, and so I have my friction at 0.5, my stickiness value of 0.2 um, on my mattress. Friction is 0.5, stickiness is 0.1, and on the box print. All right. So if you only have a mattress, and uh, you don't have to worry about the other settings. Now the next thing that we need to do is uh, click on the cloth. And we want to go all the way down here to the quality settings. Okay? So under the quality settings, I'm changing the max self collide iteration to, it was at a value of four, change that to value of eight. And I'm going to click on, let's see here, it's an end cloth. I'm going to click on the nucleus. All right? Now under the nucleus, what I found is, um, I found out that. When I played this, the animation through the time slider, I was having a lot of edges colliding with each other. So I changed the sub steps from a value of three to a value of 30, and I changed the max collide iterations to a value of 60, okay? Um, if you wanted to move this piece of geometry up higher for whatever reason, um, you know, you can, but, um, I'm going to go ahead and click play. And what I notice um, after I played this particular animation is that um, the edges of this cloth were actually uh, going through my floor. So we'll allow this to play through. And I'm actually going to stop this right now and I'll pick it up uh, when the animation stops. Okay guys and girls, this is the um, final part of our cloth simulation. Um, as you can see, I did a few different um, things to this particular cloth. I started it from frame one and uh, assigned a brand new material to it, an AI standard. So let me go to that particular cloth. Let's see here. It's not a Lambert. Um, here's my AI standard. I don't know why it's not pulling up, but let's just um, go here and explore a few of my properties for the end cloth. I changed the stretch resistance to a value of uh, 200. Um, and uh, the compression uh, resistance the value of 10. I also went all the way down to the quality settings and changed the max self iterations to value of 30. And if we go over here to the nucleus, I changed the solver attributes to value of 15 and the max um, collision iterations to value of 40. Okay, so that's that. You can see I got some really nice uh, wrinkles and stuff like that in this uh, software, or in, the, um, in the cloth. So yeah, I'm really happy with this. Um, it's not going through the floor. There's no inner uh, penetrations of the, of the cloth. Uh, yeah, it looks really nice. Now to get the wrinkles here, in the cloth, um, what I did was I just took that polygon plane and um, I rotated it upward. So let me show you. Let's go back, and you can see this is the the position 
um, that I did. So I just clicked on the geometry, I rotated it um, at frame one, and um, yeah, it looks great. So the last thing that you need to do is uh, go into the delete history, and um, it will get rid of all of the, um, the cloth simulation, and it would be perfect. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I look forward to uh, teaching you how to add uh, constraints on our our curtains so we can have a really awesome project. So until the next tutorial, I will see you around.